Toyota presents Fish TV in Samsung High Definition. Brought to you by Mercury, Cabela's, world foremost outfitter, and Rapala, crafting from experience. With your host, Leo Stockos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Oh, look at the size of this, son. This is the, the second one I've had on. Oh yeah? I've had three follow me up. We had to take our time getting out here and we've just got set up. Oh yeah. I got just a thing with these things, they love rolling in the line, eh? That they do. That's why I got that Suffix 832 break. And there we're still the, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> that blue fox more silver. That's the way to get her going by. There you go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if we're gonna have a day like this, <laughs> I'm excited. We just got set up. Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Ron James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. And we are on Lake Ontario. <laughs> yes, we are. Believe it or not, lake trout fishing on the ice. I don't think anybody's done that before. <laughs> Stick around, you don't want to miss this one. This is going to be a great day, man. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> Beautiful. They only get bigger from there, Jeffrey. Awesome. Look at that. Bye-bye. I'm going back to my hole because okay. i got to catch a fish. <laughs> okay. Let's Keep it up, boy. I Let's will, do it. I will. I had those fish come all the way from 73 feet of water right up to 45, and I chased that the rip and wrap. I'm going to take my rip and wrap, and I'm going to throw it down there and see if I can get some fish to attract to come in and then I got my Morsilda spoon with a minnow here just waiting. Now you can see it falling down to 73 feet and you can see the scale on this this side is from 15 to 75 then I got it zoomed in from 66 to 73 so you'll eventually see once it gets past 66 feet you'll see my my rip and wrap come in on the right hand side. And I like to use this to call these fish in. I'll, I'll take this rip and wrap and I'll, I'll hit the bottom and then I'll bring it up so far, rip it a few times and then I'll, I'll reel up five or six feet and then rip it some more and bring it up from about 73 to about 50 feet of water in that water column and then I'll let it back down. Because if there's any fish in the area, they'll hear it and see it and then they'll come over and then I'll throw my Morsilda down. Let it sit in the bottom and just lift it. Fish on! And Jeff's got a fish on. Fish on! Good fish! Good fish! Okay, I'm counting. Big fish. I hope I don't lose my rod down the hole. Because I left my rod there, he's got a big fish. <laughs> okay, buddy, I'm coming. <laughs> All right. I got one follow me too, this is crazy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Loading up the concept rod. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. you got him. Oh, take it easy with him. Take it easy with him. Take it easy with him, bud. Let me see what you got in there. Oh, look at the size of it. Got him? Oh, oh now there yeah. you go, baby. There we go. <laughs> oh, what yeah. What a beauty fish, bud. <laughs> yeah. Are you in the same depth as me, 73? Yeah. Yep, 76, 73. Yep. This ledge. What a nice fish. Oh man, great color. What a giant. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Look at the teeth on them, bud. Look at this. They got some chompers on them, I'll tell you that. Nice, bud. Awesome. That's a nice shot for the Samsung right there. Yeah, beautiful. Man, look how big those, and do they ever fight? Oh. All right. There he goes. There he goes. From the bottom. Yeah, give me some of that slide, <laughs> brother. Give me some of that slide. Right on! Let's get some more. <laughs> it's a good thing we got these shocks, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Hey, the Cruiser Series is unbelievable. It keeps so you nice and warm. You know, I've got, I've got tons of room, and this is just a one-man hut. Yeah, our camera guy and I are in the two-man. This is fun, buddy. <laughs> you want to believe I'm it. I'm going back. I'm going back. 
Now, I'm doing the same. I'm, I'm, what are you using to call them up? The rip and wrap? Using the rip and wrap? They're so, following mine, and then uh, they're yeah. not hitting it. So I oh, drop I got a fish on bottom right now. Oh, okay. You know yep. what? I got to go over gotta here. Got to get the, the more silda down there, because the Markham is telling me I got a fish. Oh, there we go. Big one. Fish on, Ron. Fish on. Oh, nice fish. Oh, he ate that bait. He ate the rip and rip. Oh, he ate it. He <laughs> ate it. It's right down there. Oh, let's get it out of the heater. Look at that. Oh, he ate right that. Right down bait. the yap. Oh, that's a beauty right there. Look at oh, that fish. Yeah. Look at the colors on that baby. Beautiful little What baby. a nice fish. Gorgeous. Wow. Well, let's let him go, Ron. Oh, yeah, for sure. Here we go. Look at it. You're on fire. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I got to get back to my hole. I had one just going at the same time as you, and I, I pulled him up to 45 feet yeah. on the Morsilla spoon. Yeah. Then he turned around, I dropped back down. So you, you've you been catching them on the rip and wrap, eh? I've had, uh, I've had a few bites, and lots of fish come in on them. When you see them come in, just start reeling, and they, they chase it right up. They're yeah. right on it. Do you right stop? It. Did you stop, or did you just keep reeling and you hit it? I slowed it down just a bit, so I'm reeling, and then I just slowed it down, and... There we go. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Okay, this week's tip of the week, folks, is uh, your, I'm going to touch on the auger. This is a Black Ice B43, which is a 43cc. It's a 10-inch blade, and it's a power auger. These are actually ideal for when ice conditions get thicker than, say, 8 to 10 inches. It'll go through the ice real quick. Key is use high-test no ethanol gas with great oil and mix it, some fuel stabilizer, and also your blade cover. Always cover your blades. Your blades are very important. Every time after you cut, put your blade cover back on, especially when you're packing it away. And if you do these little maintenance things on this beautiful Rapala 43cc unit, it'll last you forever. Oh, I missed him. Fish on. Good fish on? Oh yeah, feels like a good fish on. Oh yeah, I can see him all the way down there. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see him all the way down there, but it's so cool. Oh yeah, you that's a good him? fish on. I love the white tips on the, uh, the fins. Oh. That is so cool. See him all the way down there. I, I, I couldn't even, as soon as I marked him, I started reeling and he hit it. Oh, thought I lost them. See, they, 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 they like the twirl there, see? Yeah. Yeah, you got to have good drag. Oh. Yeah. And I got that 10-pound line on there. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's why I like to stick my rod right down the hole. Yeah. And uh, Keeps the, so uh, the line doesn't. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get his head in there. Watch that lure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jumps right out of the hole. Watch he doesn't go back in there. <laughs> oh, you got him, Jeffrey? There we go. Another nice. rip fish. That's just a nice fish all around. He came in so hot. I'm telling you. <laughs> he was just wrapping up. And that's what they're killing right there. Look at that. See how they're wrapping that line? Look. And they wrap. They just roll. like. There you go. There's your pliers. Look at that. That's just an all around. Still strong, ready to go. Look at that. What a beauty. Oh, I'm loving this, Jeffrey. I'm loving this. Watch this. Watch how, watch how fast he goes. Down the hole. Look at that. We can't really tell you where we are, but we are on Lake Ontario. And there's nobody that's doing this out on Lake Ontario that I know of. They're all going to Lake Simcoe. They're all fishing Lakers. There's so many lake trout in this area, they are stacked. And the thing is, you've got to watch the ice. Lake Ontario is a huge body of water, isn't it, Jeff? That it is. You know, and you got to be, you got to really watch the ice. This is solid eight to nine inches of ice. On certain times of year, you'll get that, and then and then you can focus on these fish. But otherwise, safety is a, is the number one, isn't it, bud? 
Yeah, you'll get a change of wind, and yeah. uh, you know if that wind really picks up and starts coming in, it could uh, it could really break up that ice in a hurry. So you got to pay attention to what's going on and, and be safe. That's number one. But uh, you know we're out here with our Argo. Uh, we took a lot of time setting up, making sure that we we're on safe ice as we came out. They are literally just <laughs> annihilating yeah. these baits. And unlike a spoon or something like that, which just kind of comes up, this actually makes a lot of noise when it comes up. So it's chugga, exactly. chugga, 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 and they just come right up with it. And you just keep reeling, maybe slow it down just a notch, and that's when they're going to just crush it. And that one was so hot, I just, I seen them, I marked them. And it was just, and it was just game on. I mean, <laughs> you know, Nathan didn't even have a chance to pick up the camera. It was just like game yeah. on. So Awesome. But that, uh, that bay right there is a killer. I'm glad we bought minnows. <laughs> we're not going to need them. We're not needing yeah. them. We're pretty much down to just fishing rip and rats now. That's for but sure. I did get one on a Marcilda. Yep. So, and you know, so you've I. always, it, it's yep. nice to have a variety, but when they're hammering one bait, that's the one you go with. It's such a new thing. Like, we're just out here figuring this out, right? You know, you got to bring your, your jigging wraps, your snap wraps, your Marcildas. Yes. You don't know what it's going to no. take. But no, we don't. Today, know. Rip and wraps. Well, hey, yeah. it didn't take uh, didn't take long to figure it out. No. <laughs> you know what? Stick around, folks. More fish TV action on Lake Trout on Lake Ontario. Portions of Fish TV are brought to you by Toyota and Sylvania Silver Star. See farther, see wider, see better. Fish on! I knew it. Got him! Uh, yep. <laughs> Another one! This is crazy, bud. This is fish after Get fish. Get him up. Get him up this time. This is fish after fish. Let him run if you got him. Look at him burp. Look at him burp. Oh, look at this. Yeah, don't let that rod line. Oh, yeah, you got him, bud. Oh, buddy, look, look at the size of this. This is a gorgeous fish, too. Oh, yeah, bud. Look at the white tips on his fins. Yeah? I can't oh. see him yet. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, he's got the red. Oh. I think. Yeah. I want to get a good picture of this one. Watch that line on the ice. Peel, peel, peel. Oh, look at him going. Down he goes. <laughs> this is a giant. This is a giant. Look at him going. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I love it. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Tell me this isn't a blast. There we go. Oh, this is a. <laughs> this is more than a blast, man. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Look at it. He's still got the head shake going on. I'm going to have to help you here. I don't know how. <laughs> this big fat guy can't get in that hole <laughs> too quick, I'm telling you. Watch he doesn't scrape on that ice. Oh, buddy. Watch, watch. Yeah, the best thing you do is put that rod down. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, my Lord. It, this, this, this thing's huge. Oh, my. Oh, Jeff, come on. You've got to get him, just take your time, take your time, take your time. Get his head in there, bud. He's a giant. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, I got him. What a, what a show. What a show. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you changed color on me. You went to a green, you didn't tell me. You changed color on me. Well, when I lost that one fish, I broke off on a big one right at the hole. Yeah, I know. And to be honest, I'm all in silver and blues. Oh, I took your last one. <laughs> hey guys, let's take a minute out of the action and show you exactly what we're using out here today. For these Lake Ontario Lakers, they're big fish, you gotta have the right rod. The Rapala Concept 28 inch medium heavy, it's got a lot of backbone, yet a soft enough tip to fight these big lake trout and be able to set the hooks and get those hooks into the fish. The Rapala Concept rod is a must have. We've got the Concept Reel from Rapala on there as well. 
with suffix 832 10 pound braid, a little micro swivel, and then suffix fluorocarbon leader. Just a couple of feet. It's invisible, it's abrasion resistant, so that you can get the, those fish up and not have the teeth cut th that line on you. And it's got a lot of strength, very reliable fluorocarbon. And definitely the Rapala rip and wrap, like we've been saying all day. Let's get back to that fish TV action. Okay, I got the suits right. on camera. Hold on. Right there. Awesome. Holy mackerel, dude. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> That's a beauty. Look at that. Just let him sit for Look a second. At Look at the bait he's spitting out. Oh, he's, yeah. You see yeah, that? I did. He's spitting out minnows, man. Look at Look the at size of it. Oh, it's a giant. <laughs> oh, what a thing yeah. of beauty. Are you ready to go? There oh, he yeah. goes. Yeah, he's kicking now. Here we go. There he goes. Goodbye. Look at that. <laughs> You want to know where we are? You got to go to fishtv.tv. Shoot us an email, and I'll tell you exactly where we are. But I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag right here. So make sure you go to fishtv.tv, and I'll tell you exactly where where we are and what we're doing. Let's get some more, man. Unbelievable, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Ooh, love it. You know, it's the combination of having the right baits and the right sonar. We've got the Markham flashers. I'm using an LX5, Ron's got an LX7, and having that is critical. You gotta be able to see those fish come in and then start pulling it away, make those fish chase. And if you didn't have a flasher, you couldn't do that. You wouldn't even know that the fish is there. But then having this bait, this Rapala ribbon wrap, this one's a size six, but you can hear how loud that is. That bait, when we start pulling it away, these fish just aggressively charge it down and eat it. Unbelievable bait and I gotta get back in the water. Got him. Yep. Fish on! Oh, it's, oh, it's a giant, buddy. Is it? It's a giant. <laughs> it's a giant. Let's just open up the cruiser here. Man, I just love this clear water. <laughs> I know. You, you can see them down there 30, 40 feet. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Head shake. Where is he? Man, he's right up underneath the ice. Oh. Where is he? Going to Rochester. Oh, no. <laughs> oh there he is. Oh, look oh, at the look size of the nice Get it. He just ate that bait. What's that bait? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> look at that. Oh, look. Oh, beautiful. There you go. Hey, beautiful. Look at that. What a chunk. <laughs> yeah. What a thing of beauty. Awesome fish right there. How's that for a fish, bud? That's my biggest one today for sure. Welcome to Lake Troutville. <laughs> Look at the head on this. Look at this. Hello, baby. Talk to the viewers at home. You know what? All muscle. Just unreal. We went for about 20 minutes without a fish. I'm going to let this one go. I tell you, I mean, I've never had Lake Trout fishing like this in my life. This is unbelievable, man. That fish is going like 13, 14, 15 pounds, something like that. Are you supposed to catch fish in this weather like this? I don't think you're supposed to catch anything but a cold oh, in this, but buddy, we're having a great time though. <laughs> we're catching fish like crazy. Best thing to do is just hold him there for a few minutes, let him get his bearings, and then there. When you see that tail flipping like that, there he goes. Come on, go down. <laughs> hold on. Give him a little shove. There. There. He came in and I, I watched him. He come up. As soon as you see them, you got to start reeling, right? <laughs> Definitely. So I reeled yeah. and he stopped for a second. So I stopped. And then I remember you told me, just crank one or two more times. That second crank, wham! It would game on. The only thing I know is what? they do not want to let that rip and wrap get away. You know what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. you know, we don't need minnows. No. Nope, we stopped and got a bunch of minnows. No. Nope. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, they do work. I caught one on a Marcelda. Yeah. But when these fish are aggressive, they're aggressive. And, and we're, we're getting them to where they're coming up and they're just, you, we can bring them up 10, 15 feet and they're yeah. rocking yeah. it. There's a couple other lakes that I would love to try these ripping wraps at. Let's go do it. <laughs> we should. We should. We you still know. got a little bit of time left though, don't we? Oh yeah. We got a lot of time left. You know what? Mid-afternoon, we're rocking 15, 16, 17 pound lake trout. 
on Lake Ontario. You can do this every day. Every day, there's nobody, nobody here. Love it, let's get back at it. Let's buddy. do it. <laughs> get back at her. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Open her up. Got him? Yep. All right. I'm coming, bud. <laughs> oh, I don't know, bud. <laughs> Oh, it's a tank. Oh, it's a, it is a tank. It oh, it's a, a giant, and he ate it. Goodbye. Oh. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that reel just is smoking. See you later. <laughs> oh, buddy, that's a tank. Well, I can tell you, I got 70 feet left to bring in. You know what? Because he just went straight to the bottom. <laughs> Holy. I think this is the biggest one yet. Oh, yeah. I just can't get enough of this. I tell you, it's just unbelievable. I just can't get over the size of that one, bud. Look at the size of it. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, watch him. Oh my, that's the biggest one yet, bud. Get his head in here. Get his head in here. Get his, oh, I can't, I don't want to grab the line. Get his head in here, he's huge, man. Look at, look, look, look. Get his head in here, get his head. Oh no. Oh, oh, look at him, he's twisted. Okay, easy, easy. I, I don't wanna get a handful of hooks, he's, oh, can you see him? I don't, I'm not gonna touch your line, I'm not gonna touch your line. Get him, get him. yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> what a tank! <laughs> it's almost the size of the door. <laughs> it is. Dude, look at the size of that fish! <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible! Oh, man. Look at the size of that thing! What a day! Oh, you know what? <laughs> this has been unbelievable! <laughs> we gotta cut it short, but we're gonna fish for a little longer. Oh man. But our time has come. If you're not out here doing lake trout in Lake Ontario, we're gonna tell you, go to fishtv.tv, you check us out, we'll tell you exactly where we are. This man knows how to get them. <laughs> We're going to do it again. I'll tell you what, till next week, I'm Ron James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. We'll see you next time right here on Fish TV. <laughs> Giant Lakers. All right, there you go. Ready? There he goes. Look at that. I love it when they go down the hole like that. Fish TV has been brought to you by Old Milwaukee. It doesn't get any better than this. Lund, the ultimate fishing experience and your Ontario Toyota dealers. Real people, great cars. Now that's a wall.